Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. All right, I wanted to talk about this miner right here. This is one of the new Nerd Oct Axes, and I found a block. Now, is it a Bitcoin block? No, but it's another SHA-256 algorithm coin that I decided to solo mine just to see if I could actually get a block because I've always been solo mining Bitcoin, but of course, you know, over the past year, I have never found a block yet. So I felt like I wanted to gamble even harder by just solo mining another coin and I was solo mining Digibyte, okay, on solopool.org. And the block that I got, looks like I got 276.29 digibytes, and that was worth about $1.60. So you can see which block height I hit, and which miner worker it was. It was my Oct Axe, at a share difficulty of 2.2 G, all right? Personal luck on that one was 67%. All right, so 276 digibyte, which is honestly pretty cool. So I was just walking past my, my solo miners on my land desk here, and when I saw this, I was like, okay, that's cool, because I've never seen this image before on any of my, you know, little solo miners, you know, bit axes or nerd QX plus pluses. I've, I've never seen that yet. So I was like, you know what? I want to try Digibyte. But before I expand on a few more things, I just want to announce that we're doing a giveaway. Thanks to CryptoMinerBros.com, we are going to be giving away a brand new Nerd Oct Axe. And I believe it's going to be the new revisioned nerd oct axes with higher 35 volt capacitors the first generation oct axes only came with 25 volt as well comes with bigger heat sinks also a 20 amp fuse instead of a 15 amp fuse okay so this is the newer revision oct axe i believe it would be called 6.1 of course it still uses the same xt60 plug here similar to the first generation oct axe and i did do a custom power supply for mine and it's been working great it's not hot at all nice and cool and i am going to be doing that again with two of these that I have here for both of these oct axes, okay? So, gotta do some wire stripping. You guys may have seen a video I've done of that already, but yeah, we're doing the giveaway. So, just comment down below your guys' thoughts about these oct axes, as well as there's the Gleam link down below to participate in the giveaway, all right? So, just comment down below, and the winner is gonna be chosen in like a couple days as of this video is uploaded. So, a fast giveaway, so hopefully I'll choose the winner right away, and the person who won will get shipped one of these new Oct axes from CryptoMinerBros.com. Thanks to them for the giveaway. Hopefully you should receive it by Christmas. But of course, I think right now, logistically, there's a lot of shipping delays and a lot of shipping going on because of Christmas. Yeah, so I have these stock power supplies. I don't really want to use these because they get really hot. Don't know if you guys remember that video that we did. These things were getting up to like 80, 90 degrees Celsius. Then, you know, I compared it to one of these metal based you know server style power supplies and the highest we got was like 55 degrees celsius but it's got an internal fan to keep everything cool so that's why i'm going this method which i've seen a lot of other people do as well and honestly this is the best way to do it i'll have a link down below to amazon to the power supply as well as to the xt60 cables if you have a nerd octax i know with the nerd qx plus pluses or even the nerd x hydro that these still use the barrel plug style connectors which you can buy off amazon and still do the these type of power supply method and uh, you gotta use wire cutters or get terminal connectors and you know connect it up that way i have the video for the octax and the custom power supply if you guys want to check that out link down below and if you guys are interested in you know one of these octaxes from crypto miner bros go check them out link down below all right back to the block found here all right so my journey here of solo mining which i'm going to be expanding into you know trying to solo mine a Bitcoin block. I mean, who wouldn't want to get a Bitcoin block? That is what I want to achieve in my lifetime here, which uh, it could happen or couldn't happen. But as I'm adding more of these devices to my fleet, I should have a higher chance in theory. I know solo mining Bitcoin, it's, it's a lottery play. It's better odds than playing the regular lottery. And our chance for everyone that's solo mining, we have a chance pretty much every 10 minutes. But with this Octax, it's a 10 terahash model. So this thing obviously has a 
higher chance to attain blocks essentially, especially on lower hash rate networks like Digibyte, like what I was trying here. So with my Digibyte account here on solopool.org, so I do have a BMM101 as well, and a LV06 and an LV07, and then the Octax as well, mining to my account here. But the Octax was the one who found the block, right? 10 terahash. And this one is obviously getting a lot more valid shares because it's a lot more powerful on the SHA-256 algorithm. Now, not only am I solo mining Digibyte, but I'm also solo mining Bitcoin Cash. I do have a few other devices that I'm trying to get other blocks from uh, different networks like Bitcoin Cash. And so I have my bit, I have a BitX Gamma on there, I have a Nano 3 on there, I have a Nerd Q Axe. Uh, plus plus on there and then a nerd QX hydro that I'm solo mining uh, Bitcoin cash So I've combined about 15 terahash for this account. Have I found a Bitcoin block on Bitcoin cash yet? No uh, Though I have found one on a Avalon mini 3 a while ago I don't know if you guys remember that I got real lucky I found that in like six days I did my short about that but just recently according to mempool.space there was a person who found a Bitcoin block just recently three days ago as of recording I guess on December 11th someone found a Bitcoin block on ckpool.org and here was the account or Bitcoin address that found it got a best share of 2.69p and it was this device right here, apparently. Uh, this one right here was a 75 terahash or 80 terahash device. I'm gonna say this is probably a, I would say, I'm gonna guess that this was maybe an Avalon Q. Okay, it has a worker of 170. So I don't know if this is something else. It does say hash rate past five minutes, 100 terahash. Yeah, but over the past hour, it says 79.1. So that could be an Avalon Q. Not quite sure what other things that could be 75 terahash. I know 80 terahash is what I get on standard mode for my Avalon Q. So maybe that's pretty close. But this got a best share of 2.69. So this gentleman found a Bitcoin block, which was just absolutely insane. 3.069 Bitcoin. And in total, this gentleman has 267 terahash on uh, his account. He's got a bunch of other devices on here, probably bit axes, nerd QX plus pluses, nano three S's, etc. As you guys can see here. So this gentleman, good job on him. Good job. Good job. Congratulations. So some of you may be asking Red Panda, if you're solo mining Digibyte and Bitcoin Cash, which with a few other devices, are you also solo mining Bitcoin? And yes, yes, I am. I have my own node at home. I do have a future bit Apollo that I have pointed just a few miners to. Um, this feature bit Apollo 2 does have a little Bitcoin miner inside. So right now, I think I only have two devices connected to here. The feature bit Apollo does about three terahash. Then the uh, modded LV08 that I have, that was from Pleb Source. This does about four to five terahash. So this is, yeah, this is pointed to my own node here locally uh, on my network here. And so, yeah, I'm, playing the lotto this way as well. Am I going to point some rigs over to ckpool.org? Uh, yes, my plan is to do that. I was doing it right now. I have pointed a lot of my Avalon Qs, uh, Mini 3s, like I have a lot of bigger boy uh, ASIC miners, bigger heaters, winter heaters essentially. I have those mining right now just to a regular pool. I'm just slowly accumulating Bitcoin that way. Though I know I should really try my luck on getting Bitcoin, but I feel like I already have a few enough devices where you know I'm okay to pay the electrical bill out of pocket you know to run these types of stuff uh, for solo mining so I don't want to go too overboard even though you know I have a good amount of Avalon 3s uh, mini 3s uh, sorry Avalon Qs I think I have five of them uh, mini 3s I have about three of them around my house heating my house right now here's my wife's Avalon mini 3 which found a Bitcoin clash block I think back in the summertime not too long ago and I just put it to Bitcoin Cash. Six days later, it found a block. And it was like a $1,500 block, which essentially paid this thing off, which I was super happy about. So I was thinking maybe I should just port everything over to maybe solo mining Bitcoin Cash. I got another Avalon Q here uh, that's heating my like Pokemon room here with my son. We're, we're collecting a lot of Pokemon here. And uh, so at least it's good that actually this device, if it gets humid, this thing dries the room, which is actually better for Pokemon TCG cards so they don't get damaged by humidity. And then I have another Avalon Q here that's kind of heating up my 
uh, living room here like this and yeah, it's it works really good But I'm gonna be adding a lot more here shortly as you guys see the two octa axis here Okay, got one version here from Crypto Miner Bros, and I do have another one here. I think this is the older revision one. There are some noticeable differences, but I think they're going towards the newer revision now with the 20 amp fuse, bigger capacitors. Yeah, just I think higher overclocking ability on this one, which stay tuned. I will try in another video once I have the power supply set up. But let me know if you guys want to see another video of me setting this up with these custom power supplies, cables, all that good stuff. Let me know if you guys want me to do that. But otherwise, I think I already have a video uh, doing that. Link down below. Anyways, guys, it was really cool to see a Digibyte block, okay? Even though it's not a Bitcoin block, but I just wanted to, in theory, just see this message, this, this, this part of the screen which says block found. I was like, oh, that's... That's really cool. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget the giveaway of the Octax. I'm gonna choose that winner very soon. Link down below. Hit like on this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.